To create my landscape today, I'm gonna need to start by thinking about the background color of my paper. And this background color is going to represent part of the sky. We're gonna be adding more color to the sky, but I wanna pick a color to kind of think about what um, time of day I'm creating and maybe what kind of color sky I have. So I'm gonna choose this kind of dark purple. And I'm gonna start by adding a little more color to my sky um, first. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write my name on the bottom of my paper and my teacher code. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip my paper over so I don't have to worry about accidentally covering it up. Using some peeled oil pastels, I'm going to be rubbing them on my paper to create some different um, shades in my sky. So I can do a little bit of orange. And you can see I'm, I'm laying it on, on the side here. See if what, we add a little yellow in here. Be a little pink. If you find a pastel you want to use that, that, that has a wrapper on it, then just um, peel it. Okay, and I can leave the bottom open because I'm gonna be adding um, some grass there later. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create um, some clouds if I want to and the land on my landscape. So if I wanna do clouds, then we're, you're gonna wanna start with a little bit of white first. And I can do some dabbing with my brush. I can create a little bit of a dry brush effect where my brush is kind of dry and I just kind of move it around on my page. Okay, I can kind of swirl my brush. We're really kind of making it nice and loose. I kind of like seeing some of my sky behind my cloud too. Now that I'm done with my clouds, I'm gonna be thinking about my land. And for my land, I'm gonna be doing some color mixing. So I'm gonna be using some green, of course, and I'm gonna mix in some yellow and white. So I'm gonna dip my brush into the green and you will have a messy mat under your paper so that it doesn't get the table dirty. And I'm gonna just start swiping some green down at the bottom. You can already see a little bit of that white coming through. So I'm gonna do a little bit more green, going right off the page here. And I'm gonna even take a little dab of yellow now and try mixing that on. And that's gonna create a really pretty light green. See what happens if I add a tad of white. It's gonna really lighten it up, isn't it? Okay, it's looking good. Okay, so my grass is done. If I want, I can add a little bit of texture here to kind of make it look a little bit textured. Maybe you wanna make a little, I don't know, a little rock or something down here. Okay, so now we're done with our brush and we're gonna switch to a new tool. We're gonna be using a piece of cardboard to make some trunks for our trees. And I want everyone to have at least three trees, maybe more. And how we're gonna be doing this is we're gonna be dipping the edge into the paint. These three colors are the colors I would recommend for your bark. So I'm gonna start with a lighter color like white or even some brown, and I'm gonna dip the edge into my paint like so. You don't need very much. And starting in my land, I'm gonna start with a line and I'm gonna just drag it across, drag it across drag it across. It's kind of light right now, but we're gonna go back over that in a minute with a darker color. And 
Maybe it's gonna get a little skinnier as it gets taller. Okay, I'm gonna make another one over here. Okay, they're gonna start light, but they'll get a little darker. I want one to look like it's kind of far in the distance, then I can make it a little bit skinnier. If I want one to look like it's up close, then I can make it a little bit bigger in my foreground. Put another one back here. Shorter one. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off some of my extra paint on my messy mat. And now I think I'm gonna go back in with some black over top. This is gonna look like bark on my tree. Maybe a little bit of brown too. Do a little brown and black mixture. And it can kind of looks like a shadow too. When you're done with this, this can go in the trash. And then that's left is the leaves. To make the leaves on our poplar trees, we're gonna be learning about analogous colors. So when we're looking at the color wheel, we notice that there are certain colors that are always next to each other. For example, red is next to orange, then yellow, then green, then blue, then purple. Colors that are analogous are right next to each other on the color wheel. So red and orange are analogous colors. Red and purple are analogous colors. Blue and purple, any of the two that are touching are analogous. So you're gonna to get to choose analogous colors to create the leaves on your trees. We're gonna to get to use some fun tools to add our leaves. We've got this brush, which is called a funky brush. We've got a sponge, and we've got some thick bristled brushes to tap to create our leaves. So I'm gonna kind of create a, um, a little bit of a fall, a fall look. So I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do some um, orange and yellow, cause those are next to each other. And I'm gonna do some yellow and green, cause those are next to each other. So I'm gonna take a little dab of paint and I'm gonna start to dab that on my paper maybe add a little bit of orange next to it and seeing how those mix together. It's a little bit wider on the bottom and then a little bit narrower on top. Okay, let's try this. Tapping it along. Maybe I do a little bit of red. When you're finished with your painting, you're gonna take it to the drying rack and slide it on. And then we'll be doing a little bit of cleaning up together.